In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the set timeout and clear timeout function in JavaScript. JavaScript allows us to execute the codes at a specified time of intervals. Uh, this is useful when you want to delay executing a piece of code or repeatedly run the same code again and again. So the set timeout method sets a timer which execute a function once the timer expires. The syntax for the set timeout function is this. So it's going to take a function followed by delay. So this delay is going to be in millisecond. Let's say 3000 millisecond. 3000 millisecond is equivalent to 3 seconds. I'm sure that you know, right? So this function is going to be executed only after 3 seconds in that case. So let me give you this simple example. So I'm going to say var. I'm going to create the variable my time. Let's say my time equals I'm going to use this set timeout function so this type set timeout function is going to take two parameters first one is a function so let me say function so this function is not going to take any parameter and then the next parameter let me say the first parameter is a function and the next parameter is a delay so let's say the delay I'm going to say 3000 what does that mean 3000 3000 millisecond so 3000 millisecond is equivalent to 3 seconds so this function is going to be executed only after 3 seconds so let's say here inside uh, i'm just going to alert let's say hello world so in this case what we are simply saying when you use set timeout as a function this message hello world is going to be executed only after these three seconds you understand so that's the use of set timeouts so this particular function is going to be executed based on the delay that you are passing here so here i have passed 3000 meaning three seconds so after three seconds only we can able to see the pop-up box coming with a message name called hello words so let me save and refresh You see, it took three seconds to display this hello world message. So this is a use of set timeout. What if, if I want to clear this set timeout function? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. You can use the method name as clear timeout in case if you want to clear the set timeout function. So in order to do that, what we can do, let us create something interesting. So I'm going to my HTML5. So what we can do here, I can create uh, a p tag okay i can create an id maybe so that is where we are going to be displaying so p tag with an id equals i can say any any id let's say message as an id okay so here we can just pass the message saying click this button before three seconds so click this button uh, before three seconds so what does that mean there is no need for you to wait up to three seconds because if you wait up to three seconds this set timer function is going to be applied so this message is going to be displayed after three seconds so if you want to cancel that one click this button so that even before three seconds we can still be able to see the message so that is what we are going to do so in that case what we can do let us create a button so in this button what i can say i'm going to just uh, include an event let's let's say on click event and then here name of the function so name of the function let me just copy the name of the function uh, okay this name of the function is for the clear timeout not necessarily for the set timeout so let me say uh, the function that I am going to create is let's say cancel timer this is a function that I want to create then the message is going to be let's say cancel timeout let me save and refresh so that you would see here. So click there. We are going to have cancel timeout. So after three seconds is going to display the hello world, right? So this is what we want to stop them. So when you click this cancel timeout, it's going to stop. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create another function. Let's say a uh, function as a keyword. Uh, then I'm going to uh, name the function. Maybe let's say the function name what can we say we can say just oh the, we have to just say the same name right so let me just copy and paste this function so inside the function this is where we are going to use this 
clear timeout function so what I'm going to do I'm just going to say clear timeout function I'm just going to make use of this clear timeout function so here I'm just going to pass the parameter is my timeout okay so this one is going to clear the time that we have passed them here so here so this clear timeout is going to cancel the time that was set by set timeout method so we need to just connect this one to the paragraph that we have them here with an id message so what are we going to say document dot get element by id then the id name is message i think so so we are going to say dot inner html then we are just going to say uh, my timeout has been cancelled any message uh, that you want to pass so what message can we pass maybe just say uh, my timeout has been cancelled let me save and refresh right initially i'm not going to click the button so just wait it will take three seconds to display the hello world right so click ok now what I'm going to do this time before I run a refresh then I'm going to click cancel timeout so here there is an error saying cancel timeout uncut reference my timeout is not defined so where is my timeout okay so here I have passed the value parameter as my timeout it was not defined so let me define that one so this my timeout is nothing but this variable so here I've just said my time so here, here I had put my timeout. No wonder that uh, it is giving me an error. Just let me make this one as a my time. So this is a parameter that I'm passing because this is a variable that holds the information about this set timeout. This is a thing that I want to cancel. So I have to pass this variable as a parameter here. No wonder that it's giving me an error. So let's start again. So when I refresh, it will take three seconds to display the hello world message. Yes. Now what I'm going to do next time I'm going to cancel that three seconds so that it can display immediately refresh cancel the button my timeout has been cancelled you have seen that that hello world message is not been displaying because we have cancelled the timeouts so it's not going to display because initially it has to display after three seconds just because I have cancelled with the help of the method name called clear timeout no wonder that even after three seconds we can still not be able to see the hello world I hope now you have understood how to use the set timeout function and clear timeout function in JavaScript.